In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit a video using iMovie, the standard editing app that comes with your iPhone and it's absolutely free. This is a comprehensive tool and I want to show you how to use it as quickly and as easily as possible so that you can make a video in five minutes. Follow me as I go through this step by step on my iPhone now. On your iPhone, open up the iMovie editing app. Then we're going to want to start a new project and I'm going to select the movie option because we want to create a movie from scratch. Now we need to go and find the clips that we want to use here. And the best way we can do that is by going back to the media, looking under albums. And if you keep your things organized like I do, then there'll be an album called coffee meeting, for example, and I can quickly go and grab the clips that I want. Now, as best as I can, I'm going to select them in the order that I want to see them, which is pretty much almost the way that they were filmed, but I'm going to mix it up a little bit and we're going to pick that one, that one, that, 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 then if it's the wrong way around, we'll, we can always fix it up later. That's not the end of the world but I would say that's more or less the order that I want to see the clips in and we're going to create the movie. All right, this video is now 1 minute and 27.8 seconds, which is not bad, but I think we can bring that down and make it quite a bit shorter, especially if we play the video. Yeah, look how that drags on. So we, we're going to want to trim these clips down to just, the best moment so that we can keep the video moving and engaging. Especially with long clips like this, then instead of using the trim tool, it's easier to highlight that and then just make a split. And it splits that into two clips. We take that beginning one, delete it away. And let's just play one and there, and that's enough. Let's split again, take the back end and delete it. Super quick. So. Okay, this is one thing that the splitting and trimming process, it's always better if you add in the music first. So let's just go fetch some music. I've got under audio, under my music, I've actually imported something from uh, no copyright music. That's from YouTube, we'll just add that in there. And this gives us the ability to work through it and see that we've got the pace and the music of the, the, the pace of the, the trim and cuts to the music. Too long now. You see how there's like we had more than four beats pass there. So let's carry on. Okay, you can see these things all need to be shorter. One thing I don't like about iMovie, and I'm going to point that out now, is that automatically they add these dissolves to everything, which make it hard to trim because it cuts into the trimming. And it, it, so I just remove all of them. You can see as I remove it, it makes the clip longer because that's the clip that was melting into the next one. So a little bit annoying about iMovie, but this is what you get when you're using a free app. You've got to deal with what you're dealing with. And just because you have to take a few seconds to switch these off doesn't mean it's the end of the world. But that's what I usually do. I switch all these uh, crossfades off in the transitions and now we can work properly. So let's go from the beginning and trim this video as fast as possible. Shorter. Shorter. off the back, shorter, a lot shorter, up to there, don't want it, so split that, delete it, and done, again, take that, delete it, and out of focus, shaky, there we go, that's nice, trim that away, perfect, done. See how the music's dictating how long it goes? Don't need that. 
Perfect. And this is how you go. Don't want it. Didn't do anything. Yeah, that's great. Don't need the rest of it. Ah, he's only pouring it now. So that was definitely the wrong way around. Let's just get this right first. Let's trim that off and I'm going to hold that and move it to there so that that's the right way around. Trim that away. Done. Next. Again, far too long. Let's trim that off and keep going. That's fun. Good, it's good. Perfect. So as much as I said something about iMovie I didn't like, which is the crossfades, what I do like is the fact that it drops the music automatically when there's sound in the clips and comes up again if there's no sound. This year, I want to just change the Ken Burns from start position. I want it to be nice and sort of neat. Okay, so the one thing is this image is not ideal. Normally I'd like to shrink it and see the whole thing, but iMovie doesn't let me do that. So I'm going to start off on one side with the Ken Burns and end. Let's start there and let's go to the end of the clip. And we end over there. So as it plays, it'll go through it. It'll go from one end to the other. Definitely a whole bunch shorter than that. That's fine. Let's also make this music kind of fade, fade out at the end. So you see there's a little bit of a fade, so at least much better, it's less abrupt. Okay, uh, that would pretty much be it. If there's any sound like that, you know, you don't need that sound. It makes the music drop just to make people hear the sound. You want to kill that. So at least now the music won't go down. Better. And that video is pretty much good to go. It is now a total of 35 seconds, which is a whole lot shorter and more engaging and interesting and perfect to share with people on social media of your experience of this place that you went to. I will now say done. We'll rename this to the coffee shop video. Done. And I can now save this video and I'm going to just uh, save the video which will put it in my camera roll or in my photos app and we'll do it at HD because it was filmed at HD. That's how you get through an edit in iMovie as quick and as fast as possible uh, to make the video sort of short and engaging and punchy and something that people on social media would, would really probably like to enjoy. You can find that video in here now in your recent album. All right, that's it. If you have any questions about the subject of this video or anything related to how to make a video, then let us know in the comments section below. Remember, you can also get lots more free tutorials like this on our YouTube channel, as well as by visiting our website, travelvids.tv. My name is Dean Parman, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.